What's up, everybody? It's your dear Cosmic Wonder jumping on giving the big what's up. Hope everybody is doing awesome. Did I get it? It's like jumping on and shedding light, love. Helping out, helping out along the way, mingling with the good people. So, you had a great day, guys. It's been crazy busy. Been out there shedding a little light, helping people out. Anyway, get at me, guys. If you're not having a good time, there's so many amazing things going on right now, especially uh, so many powerful people, so many uh, awesome, inspirational individuals out there. So, uh, much gratitude to them uh, putting themselves out there. I understand the big picture here. And uh, that's what I want to be a part of. And you know me, I like bringing suppressed authors, writers that had this mindset um, in times where, you know, it was, it was laughed at like it is today. A lot of people are experiencing that, but back then you would be killed for some of the empowerment stuff that you might pick up through you know, meditation or, you know, being able to get a hold of some ancient texts that, you know, show you how, you know, there is nothing new under the sun. That's an old Plato statement or Saloon, one of those old Grecian great thinkers. So it's pretty amazing, guys. Check those guys out. You got access to them on your Kindles or uh, you know, YouTube. There's so many documentaries or audio books. And then uh, with the Google search engine, tons of PDFs. And then good sites like ForgottenBooks.org um, really have a lot of awesome, awesome stuff if you get into digging knowing that you can read and just dive into the books and start seeing the patterns especially uh, dealing with ancient knowledge you know how the things that are still with us today how they play a big role in the subconscious mind especially dealing with the uh, the collective that's what it's all about healing the uh the collective mind and all the uh, fundamental mental needs not being met trying to meet those that's the mission so be sure to jump on check those things out i got some amazing writers i've been dealing with for a long time now and uh the more and more you dig into the works like chair massey and alvin boy coon and uh Kirstie graves godfrey higgins uh, the list goes on guys and we got access to the works uh, Giordano Bruno he was burned at the stake he knew the synchronicity he went around and taught it which uh, you know, was a big threat to the Vatican he was a Franciscan monk so they burned him at the stake in the year 1700 and a lot of things he's uh, written about he's been vindicated um, so uh, pretty amazing and a powerful influencer Power man, because uh, when you dig into Jordana Bruno, the art of memory, I've talked about that before. And a ton of other guys that are amazing. Um, you can go even farther back. The Plutarch wrote about uh, Isis and Osiris, so you got to get a hold of those works, then jump in with all those guys that knew what they were talking about, and then it's really going to give you a solid foundation when you get into the history. And you get so many people. Saying they're not in the history, which blows my mind because you know you are the product of everything that has been, ever will be, and uh, really everything that has happened in recorded history. You know, and you know your parents and your parents you are a byproduct of all that. So it's good to get a good understanding of it. And now, for the common man, we have more understanding than ever. So there's no excuse for you know some of that stuff. And for me. When we truly understand it, it's mind blowing, but it's empowering. Um, and then it can really, uh, for me, it it, uh, it it makes me want to venerate and pay homage to where you know cultures bring you know all over the world uh, have such uniqueness and they should be sustained and and not weeded out. And and when you study the history of some of the brute force from the powerful institutions. Negative ions, guys. Big fan of those. If you never heard of the Himalayan salt lamps, there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, and then, you know, get the diffuser going. Boom, pow. 
we get the good 10 hours going, man, because uh, the essential oils, you know, when you put that in the air, it's going to kill off anything that's lurking around. It's going to neutralize the air and, and then also help start giving you that vibrational frequency that helps heal heal the body from the daily daily strains, whether it's in the stress or you know, toxins or radicals or you know, many, many things of that nature. But um, yeah, guys, check that out. All those names I dropped, don't leave them out. And these were powerful guys. And you got to imagine right in that time uh, with no social media to get that idea out there and people that were totally couldn't understand it. There's so many people that today, it's way above their head, many. Uh, but there's many growing and, and lurking and seeking and interested in this stuff. So it's a beautiful time to be around, guys. Anyway, get at me. I'll be back at you. One love. Peace out. <coughs>